What is happening gamers? This is Bradley here and today we're going to be running through some Nintendo news. So first up is that a new Pokemon X and Y themed Nintendo 3DS XL was announced for Japan so far. So we don't have any images of what this 3DS XL looks like yet, but we do have a description. So it will feature the X and Y legendary Pokemon Xerneas and Yveltal on the top of the 3DS XL. And it's going to be available in both a red or a blue color. And it's supposed to be released in October of 2013. And I'm guessing it's going to be releasing on the same day that Pokemon X and Y is released. So far, this 3S XL has only been announced for Japan, but I think there is a better chance of it being released outside of Japan, considering Pokemon is a pretty big deal around the world. Plus, North America and I think Europe got the Pikachu 3S XL, so why not the X and Y one? But of course, we'll just have to wait for an official announcement from Nintendo. But in other Pokemon X and Y news is that a strategy guide has popped up on Amazon for the games and according to the description for it, it reveals that TMs and HMs will be back and there will be a Hall of Fame. But probably the most notable tidbit in the description is it makes mention of a feature called Super Training. So this is a game feature Nintendo hasn't actually announced yet. It's listed in the description alongside Pokemon Ami, which is something Nintendo has announced. But the Super Training, we don't know what it is. Maybe it's something to help you train your Pokemon faster or something like that. So if you have an idea of what the Super Super training is, leave a comment below. But we'll just have to continue guessing what the super training is until Nintendo officially reveals it. Moving away from all that Pokemon X and Y news though is that Satoru Iwata has revealed that Nintendo is working on bringing asynchronous multiplayer to Miiverse. So this means that you would then be allowed to share your play data for your Wii U games through Miiverse and then other people can download them and play against you. So for example, maybe people will be able to share their new Super Mario Bros. U speedruns through Miiverse and then other people can download them and try to race against against their ghosts and try to beat their speedruns. Now we don't know when Nintendo is actually going to be implementing this feature, we just know that Nintendo is working on it, but it's a neat little feature and something that developers can take advantage of and possibly create some interesting ideas in their games centered around it and create some more interactivity between players in Miiverse. And finally is that according to a Nintendo of Europe newsletter, Mario Kart 8 is apparently going to be releasing in April of 2014. So originally we only knew that Mario Kart 8 was going to be releasing sometime in the spring of 2014, but Nintendo of Europe is narrowing it down to April. Now this is coming from Nintendo of Europe, so this is the European release date. We don't know about North America and other regions just yet, but they could be releasing sometime around the same time. Now this date is always subject to change, but at least it is something to go off of. That will wrap up another news video, and you can look forward to a new episode of Blast from the Nintendo Pass, where I'll be reviewing Star Tropics for the NES. But I'll talk to you later in the next video, guys. Bye!